Good morning and thank you for being with us today. My name is Victoria Eno and I'm joined by Cole Wright and Alex Petrella. And our capstone design project is heating, ventilation, and air conditioning failure modes and potential solutions. The company sponsoring our project is Bosch Thermotechnology, the brand invented for life. Bosch is a global multinational engineering and electronics company dedicated to innovating reliable HVAC comfort solutions such as the heating and cooling units from below. Hence, the motivation for our project is identifying why and how HVAC components fail to ensure quality and reliability in Bosch products, as well as removing vulnerability so that Bosch can maintain their invented for life reputation. The best anticipated outcome of our project is a prototype hardware and software system capable of collecting field data from selected HVAC components. Moreover, we were also asked to design a web-based interface so that users can interface with this data. After much dedicated hard work to our capstone project, we, the members of Team Bosch, are proud to say that we have met this best anticipated outcome. Thank you, Vicki. However, our accomplishments didn't come without challenges along the way. We first had to develop our product knowledge, uh, specifically to the Bosch inverted ducted, inverter ducted split system, and specifically how that system utilizes the refrigeration cycle. And to streamline our progress, we actually created hardware and software specifications, which actually allowed us to apply our efforts more efficiently. Uh, we also, because the system is integrated onto a product in place, we had to coordinate installation with uh, contractors who had the technical ability, the know-how uh, to do so, and also the licenses required as well. And the fundamental part of our task for this project was to design circuits and develop a software system to integrate these sensors onto the inverter ducted system. Here you can see a high level overview of the hardware system. Uh, on the left is the condenser and its components and the air handler on the right. This system represents the IDS for which we have worked on all year. And it also displays us some of the typical sensors we've utilized as well. Thermistors for temperature, closed loop, closed loop current sensors for current sensing. And to aid us in the uh, voltage requirements, we use step-down transformers as well. Now I'd like to go ahead and walk you uh, through the system, give you a system overview of what's in place at the Capstone Workshop. The system here on the left, is the air handler on the right is the condenser and right away you can actually see the fan for which we've applied sensors as well and inside of this condenser you can actually see the compressor the supply line discharge line and the condenser coil on the outside as well for which we've actually determined to go ahead and monitor uh, temperature, voltage, and sensors as well. Here's the brains of the unit. Uh, this is where all the line voltage connections are made, and along with the current mm -hmm. sensor in place here. Moving on, you've got the evaporator coil, a vital element which, which works in harmony, harmony with the condenser coil um, with, with regard to the refrigeration cycle. Uh, again, we've monitored this for temperature, and if you'll notice, the conductors installed in a professional and neat manner and inside of the air handler is a blower motor, again, for which we have determined that it's critical to monitor temperature, voltage, and current as well. <coughs> this is the housing of the unit, which encompasses the brains for our system, the controller, and all of the design circuits that we're utilizing for this system. And last but not least, I'd like to go ahead and show you just a typical, again, step-down transformer used to convert the 208, 240 volt signal to a manageable five volts for the Arduino and the line voltage connections that we made there as well. From here, I'd like to go ahead and turn it over to Alex. We'll go ahead and explain the software system. So far, to meet our best anticipated outcome, there were a few main components that we wanted to implement. First, we wanted data collection and recording. To accomplish this, 
he used, he collected the data from the sensors and put it into an SD card, which is easy for the user to um, view the data in a spreadsheet. We also were able to develop a web-based dashboard, which the user can view all the real-time data coming from the system. They can also view selected system warnings from different components. And, fi and finally, our notifications, which will alert the user to any critical system failure that could possibly be happening because of high temperature or sustained current. So to implement this, we used a Wi-Fi connected Arduino. This allowed us to have a web-based dashboard, which you can view over the local network, and it will allow you to see different component values, the temperatures, the currents, the voltages, and also if anything is running too high, we can give the user a warning so they can take immediate action with that. We also implemented the SD card module, which allowed our data logging capabilities so we're able to take the data and plot it in Excel. Finally, we implemented a real-time clock, which allows us to have uh, an accurate timekeeping system. Even in the case of a power failure, we'll continue to be um, keeping accurate time so when the system kicks back on, we're able to continue collecting accurate data. So we would like to thank our technical directors, Jerry Hewson and Mike Naja and Bosch for allowing us to work with a world-class organization this past year. We'd also like to thank Mike Smith for his technical assistance every single week. We would of course like to thank Dr. Sunak for putting on this program. Thank you. Yeah.